Hey everybody, this is Chad. I'm here today with uh, Bob Bittner. You probably remember Bob from the incredible clownfish breeding videos. Um, puts out some of the, the greatest clownfish that there are. And also, Bob is what I consider rather famous for a product called Reef Stew. Reef Stew is, to me, the absolute best food for your reef that you can think of. Uh, your fish love it, your corals love it, and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, today we're here with Bob for a different reason though. Bob, Bob has a, a new invention. Um, Bob, how you doing and why don't you tell us about that? I'm doing pretty good, Chad, and thanks for coming out today. We call it the Frag Gripper. It's going to be the only frag, glueless frag disc on the market right here. We use no glue, no rubber bands and it has these bendable tabs which will hold an SPS and even better it even holds soft corals. For me I hate fragging. It, it's, it's always a pain. You, you have rubber bands that can kill your coral. You have glue that sticks to your hands but doesn't stick to the coral. Um, you have to keep, you know, you have corals that slime up and the glue just doesn't work. It will not work on a soft coral. Right, so so it's an absolute pain. Over the years with fragging, I, I know you've probably had a lot of experience with the kind of old-fashioned, down and dirty um, method of, of fragging. What you know, what experiences with fragging led you to feel that there was a need for this this new invention? Well, first of all, working with glue, you have to make sure the glue still works. It's not all dried up. And the one time when I had to glue one frag where I didn't use any gloves, I ended up gluing my fingers together. <laughs> and by the time I found the acetone, which going through the garage to find it, it didn't even work. I mean, the fingers were already stuck. So that's one of the problems. So wait, what did you do if your fingers are stuck and the acetone doesn't work? Well, we had to carefully get a clean razor blade. At least <laughs> I was able to get a clean one on that. A new one never used. And we were careful and we cut the glue and didn't cut the finger. The future is changing with coral. It's getting harder and harder to collect coral. A lot of places have closed down so we can't get it. So now what we really have to do to keep the industry going is to grow our own coral. And in order to grow it, we need to frag it so we can just have future generations of the coral. And we need to make it easier. And with a product like this, we can actually cut a soft coral, attach it to this, and sell it right away instead of going through the long process of rubber banding it and hoping that it will stay on a disc. So you have a pain in the butt process that has to be done because the hobby won't survive without it. And so that was your motivation for coming up with, what are we calling, what are we calling your new? We're calling it the frag gripper. Frag what it gripper. does, it actually holds onto the coral without using any glue whatsoever. It's a faster process and it works. Mm -hmm.